data formats. We have just finished talking about data and data relationships. So let's in data formats, very important. How does data come? So sometimes it can come in form of video. We have massive, massive, massive videos uploaded on a daily basis. And they have sort of in complicated matters, their entities and their attributes. The same thing with pictures. They have their entities and the attributes. So data can come in that form. And then audio. You know, we have data in audio format. Now, just the basics, because there's so many other formats, but these are just basics. Then we have text. So, and then we have file. So these are the basic, basic, basic formats by which data is generated, transported, transferred across the world. So what I'm doing right now is sharing video data with you, you know. So it's a world of data. But we have focused on Stata. And Stata generates text data. Text data. And the data can be in form of numeric. It can be in form of string. Now, numerics are just pure numbers, as you can see. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It could have a decimal place. It could have a string. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, you know. And the beautiful things about string is that they can have numbers. They are better, they are better called alphanumeric characters. But the other ones are solely numeric. Alphanumeric has both numbers in it and words or letters of the alphabet. And there are other things, you know. I just put just capital letters. There are small letters. There is exclamation mark. There are quite a number of um, other features of strings. So that's how it happens in Stata. Now let's look at the numeric for a while. In the numeric, we have what we call the continuous types of data and the categorical types and the date data. Numeric, pure numbers. Now in the continuous categories, we have things like age, cost, length, weight, number of balls, number of meals, you know, and this basically are just pure numbers. Uh, sometime in one of the future modules, we will spend some time to understand continuous, uh, uh, we call them variables, continuous formats or continuous numeric formats later. So, but that's what it looks like. Now, categorical is slightly different from continuous in that it's a number, but it represents something. It represents something. So, I don't know if you've ever used a number that represented something before. The number of a flight, you know, the number. So, one is yes, if you see typical questionnaires, two is no. They say, oh, fill one if you are male and two if you are female. So, what is stored in the memory of the computer is a number, but that number represents a word. So, that is what it looks like in numeric. And now we have numeric date formats too. And these are also stored in 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 Stata that way, state Stata. So we will also go into details in this um, in later modules to discuss dates. Now let's go back to string. So string we have names, codes, and dates. And now generally under names we have names of countries, individuals, persons, equipment, events, airlines, companies, anything that has a name, basically you know will be in that format and then we have codes where people talk about flight codes your your car plate number all meaning something but usually a combination of string or strange strings and characters you know i'm sure you must have seen some codes before they come this way and interestingly we can have dates also you know so we have date format for string and numeric format for 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 uh, for for the date too. So bottom line is, these are the two major uh, formats, numeric and string, and each of them have uh, sub 
sub uh, categories which I just explained right now and they're very useful so that's basically the end of lesson three uh, we are now going to move to lesson four where we'll talk about the various sources